What's up, guys? Good morning and welcome back to Mountain Life Simulator. Welcome back to Home Sweet Home. It's not much, but it's ours. And today I'm thinking we really want to improve this. This is pretty abysmal. All right. So I think my first goal is let's let's go to town. We're going to buy a, a hunting rifle. I, I want a rifle. I want to be able to take out some of the animals and things. Oh, I bro. There's there's no way that just <laughs> We got fox fur and raw meat. There's no way that just happened. I saw him. I figured we would just like phase through him or something, but no. Okay. Well, we've got a, a you know, two, two ton piece of hunting equipment here. We're just gonna, wow. That was absolutely brutal. I'm sorry to the fox there, but um, yeah, we, we've been wanting the, um, I think we're going the wrong way. Get ourselves turned around here. We've been wanting the, uh, the shotgun that's in the game. I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't think there are any bears or anything bad in here but i wouldn't mind taking out a buck if we happen to see him and then we're also really going to be improving our lifestyle today you know we, we've got this little lean to looking thing that we've been working with but i think we can do a lot better than that so let's cut down some trees let's make some money okay so after absolutely desecrating the land here for our own personal game we now have enough money that we can go into our hunting tools buy ourselves a bolt shotgun and we're going to buy quite a few shotgun shells here. Let's throw this on our uh, our number five. And I think I hear... Got to reload first. Hold on. Come on, baby. I hear some game around us. He's right here. Can we get him? He's fast. He's not the smartest. But he's apparently quicker than us. Got him. Let's go. Took five shots. I'm not sure how many of those hit. We've got a doe over here. You know what? Going to try to get her as well. I think it's legal here. I'm not sure. Two shots. Three shot. Three shots on the doe. I think we got a collateral hit on the... Oh, no. We didn't on the fox. Missed him. He's gone. You know what? Good good riddance. Did, go, go live your life, little buddy. You're cute. I'm sorry I hit your compadre. Wow, look at that, dude. This thing is massive. So we got a couple of pieces of raw meat and hide from the doe. We got antlers, fur, and two raw meats from the buck. We've got another buck over here. Let me, ooh, oh, this this is like an infinite money hack, huh? Why are there so many animals around now that we have a gun? Two shots up close, takes care of business. He's gonna run off, at least they're somewhat smart. Now back here in the store, I'm pretty sure these are gonna fetch a, a pretty penny. 200 bucks for the deer fur, 50 bucks for the antlers. I'm not gonna let go of them yet because I'm curious if we're gonna be able to use these in our house or not. Let's get some more pieces of wood and we're gonna go back, or actually, you know what? We probably could use some pieces of rock as well. These are actually worth quite a bit. These are worth, worth just as much as one of the big um, logs. But they're a little harder to find. They're a decent amount around here, though. I'm going to eat a couple of our beef stews, and then I'm going to try buying seeds from the shop. We haven't done this yet. I'm going to say let's get... Uh, they're all the same price. Let's grow some, some lettuce. I'm going to buy a few of those. I'm not even sure where they went. I, I bought them and they, they're, they're not here. We're, we'll see what happens. We, we spent some money. We kind of wasted a, a decent amount of money there. 75 bucks a pop. Hopefully, they're going to be available back at the house or something. I don't know if we're going to be able to buy a hoe or something at some point. But um, the name of the game today is going to be All Making Money and Improving Our House. Now, the unfortunate news is I can't figure out how to buy more property. You're supposed to be able to buy more property. Let's let's go take a look at our, our neighbor over here, our neighboring land. This is the closest property to us. All in all, not a whole lot different than what we're currently working with. Slightly longer driveway and you're a little bit closer to the lake. But to be honest, I kind of like our plot a bit. Oh, this one is for sale. So the one that we really want is not for sale, but this one is, all right, you know what? I'm down, let's do it, $3,000. We got to make some more money, but this this is going to be a great new homestead. I really wanted the one on the island, but there's just no for sale sign, so this makes a bit more sense. Now, if we have our hammer out, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to mount antlers or anything. And then I also, I did find our garden here, which is good news. So we're, we're going to save this for right now. Let's go back to town. We're just going to grind, chop down trees, sell as much as we can. We need to get $3,000 to be able to buy this piece of land down by the lake. We're going to be able to fish off of our property, which is going to be great. Probably going to have a bit more wildlife since they're going to have access to water. This is best case scenario. I wonder if it's kind of like a, uh, a progression thing where you, you buy, you know, your first plot of land. Ooh, this was not the best parking job. You buy your first plot of land and then you, you 
upgrade to the next one, and then you've got the next one after that. So I would imagine our own private island is probably the last one. Let's uh, let's go in here. We're just gonna sell everything that we have. I'm gonna sell all of our antlers, all of our deer furs, our fox furs, raw meat. Right now, we can't cook. I I'm I'm just gonna sell it. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna sell all of our fish as well, since we're gonna be able to fish all of our off of our property going forward. You're in a bad spot, miss. I'm sorry about this. No scope. No scope. Oh my gosh, we got her, dude. Let's go. Grizz would be proud. Got one over here. Do you think we can hit him from range? Good hit there. Running the wrong way, girl. Oh my gosh, we got her. All right. I mean, these are, what, 300 bucks, bucks a pop? That's a lot better than, than hunting down trees. If we just go hunting in the forest, I think we're going to be... Oop. Hello. She juked me, bro. We got her, though, I think. You got to keep in mind that we do... Got her. These are... She's still not dead? I think it's five bucks a shot. Did we get her? We got her. Oh, my goodness. We're really getting out here in the woods. I don't know if I love this. Got to be careful about our, our ammo situation. Really, rocks are, are kind of the play. We were grinding trees before, but look at this. One, two, three... Was there a fourth one? Typically, there's a fourth one. So that's that's 60 bucks right there, and it only takes a couple of hits, whereas the trees, I think it takes five hits to knock a tree down, and then four hits to break it up. One, two, three. Is there a fourth one? There's the fourth one. Yeah, rocks are the play. I mean, this just, this feels, this feels cheap. Whoo, the no scope, I love it. You're in the wrong hood, buddy. The wrong hood. We got him a two. There it is. All right, we're, we're making money now. Things are, are moving quick. Go ahead and offload all the antlers, the deer fur, the meat, and all the rocks. We got 3K already. Not doing too bad. I'm just going to spend the rest of the night grinding, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, it's it's a little dark. I, I still don't really love the nighttime in this game. Can I get in? I can't see anything. Close the door. Our bed. Oh, gosh. It is it is pure, pure dark here. Um, uh, There's... The, S sleep please you can only sleep at night it, it seems pretty nighttime to me game it is it, 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 this is there, there's something moving around I, I don't think there are grizzlies or anything in this game but okay we're, we're gonna take a nice night of sleep when it lets us i hate hearing the, the footsteps around outside it's not good yo i'm looking through the badges you can get a sniper scope you need 15 one shots to the head we can make that happen i didn't know that was possible it might be foxes i think we might have actually got that on the fox and it let us sleep. Good morning. Welcome back. Ooh, a rainy day today. We were hard at work last night. We've got a whole pile of logs here. I figured with our new spot, we would probably not want to chop down any trees. You know, this this is our forever home. We want to get out of the city. We don't ever want to, you know, deal deal with humans ever again. It's just us out here as as well as our axe. And, uh, you know, I thought, let's let's keep it nice and pristine. We're, we're not going to have any chopped down trees, any broken rocks or anything over in that area. So I'm just kind of collecting a ton of resources. We've got $4,400. And we're going to go get to work over across the street. Bit of a dreary day for a move, but that's okay. We're all loaded up. We've got our cardboard boxes. Leaving behind a field of broken dreams and heading to our entire future. Home sweet home, baby. We need to chop down some of these trees and in the middle of our well i guess it, it kind of makes the drive a bit more interesting that we have to maneuver our way we are way out here in the boonies dude i mean we might be able to cut down some trees over here if we're being honest it, it as long as we can't see them with our naked eye we're we're gonna be just fine so three thousand hard-earned dollars of sniping deer and and cutting down trees we're gonna purchase it and we can now officially build a home so i'm thinking we want you know fairly close to the water not all the way up on the water but something like this let's get our foundation going definitely gonna be going with a uh, a stone foundation Ooh, look at this okay and i'm i'm thinking maybe one there one there we don't have enough stone we're gonna need more stone thought i saw yeah there's a rock. That's not the rock I saw coming in. I'm going to take out the rocks. I mean, a, a torn down tree does not look very nice, going to be honest. I, hopefully, we're not too lazy with that, but the, the rocks really don't do anything for us. So, if we take these guys out, it's just going to make our job a lot easier. Going to do another eight portion foundation here. I'm going to put it like this. Yes, this is, this is looking great. Do one behind it like so. Each one takes eight stones, which is kind of a lot. So, this is a bit of a grind. We've got two shots here. 
Let's go. You can get him with a, a one-shot KO. That is what I'm talking about. All right. So we're, I, I want to earn the sniper scope, too. We got some work to do. That's going to help out with making money for our furniture, though. We're just going to have to go back into town and buy some more uh, some more ammo. I think we go with a, a two-by-three foundation to start things off. If we want to add more later, we can. But I also... I, I don't want to go too big. You know, I, we... Small, comfy, cozy cabin is kind of the, the goal with this lot. Got a fox over here looking for a headshot. Hold on, hold on. Do we get him? Did that, did that count? Let me check our badges. That should be three if we have three. Yep, three out of 15. Let's go. Okay, we need to buy some more ammo. To be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with the, uh, the weather situation today. So I, I might just collect a bunch of materials, get ready to build tomorrow. It's going to be great. I wish I had another, another round, but we don't. Get ready to build tomorrow. We're going to have a good time for now. I, I think we just got to organize. Feels good to have our own little plot of land, though. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're... We're gonna grind. You're, you're gonna be surprised at the amount that we have. I can't even find. It's it's over there. That's our driveway, Trev. Okay. Let's not get lost in the meantime, and I'll I'll see you guys in the morning. So I'm just out here chopping uh, chopping some logs into planks to get some planks ready for us. And the the storm is is getting worse. I mean, it, it's nice. This is a vibe for sure. But oh my gosh! I guess this is why we came out here, huh? To be one with nature. It's it's a little frightening, but it's it's okay. Things things are gonna be just fine. At least we don't have to deal with the rat race and the honking and the complaining of society. We've got this natural. This is actually a. Do you could you could throw this on as some studying music, just some some ambiance. Love it. And it's a beautiful day here in the back country. Feels good to be back. We grinded the entire day of the storm, and uh, we are in pretty good shape, if I do say so myself. It's time to get to work. We got some walls and roofs to put up. We've got some hunting to do. We've got some furniture to buy. It's time to put the finishing touches on our dream home. Look at that, dude. Okay, this, this is actually really cool. Imagine coming down that driveway and seeing this. Obviously, it's not much right now, but as soon as we're done with it today, we are going to be in great shape. We've got a ton of planks. We've got a ton of wood. We've got a ton of rocks, and we have a ton of fiber here. We've got some uh, some food that we can eat. I'm going to eat a couple things of food here, and uh, I think we're, we're ready to get started building. So I'm kind of thinking of doing like a, a two-tone here. We'll, we'll see how it works out. I'm definitely thinking, I mean, we should probably start with stairs. Wooden stairs take six planks. So let's get one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Oh, we've got handrails too. Okay, this, this is a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. Shoot. We, we can't, we can't put the stairs here. I kind of want to put the stairs here. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got some stairs up here. I'm thinking of making a little patio. So I'm going to say, we're going to do a stone door frame. So we need two planks and four stones. So we'll take one, two, one, two, three, four. Stone is, is definitely the hardest thing to come across. So I'm going to put, do we want this type of a door frame or this type of a door frame? The curved. I kind of like the curved. Let's go for the curved. So we're going to... Oh, this this is massive. I'm pretty sure we want it here. I'm going to put it here. Hopefully that's where... Yes, that's that's exactly it. And then we're going to we're gonna kind of... We're going to put a wooden wall next to that. So we need four of these for a wooden wall. We're going to grab this. And then we're going to put this like this. Just like so. So we've got kind of like a... Oh, we should have put a... Mate, nah, maybe not a window. No, I don't. I don't think we need a window. We need three more of these, and we're gonna be able to do a handrail. I mean, it's it's not very tall, so I don't think we have to worry about it too much. But if we do like a little a little handrail right here, it just kind of adds to the vibe a little bit. Now, what we can do is maybe stone. Do we want stone or wood? I guess stone walls with windows here on the front, and then maybe wood around the rest because stone is is kind of a little hard to come by. So, what do we need for stone walls with windows? Four stone and two wooden planks. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can do these guys like so. One. Oh, oh, come on. Dude, the, the delay that it takes, please tell me. Are you serious? It's gonna be fine. We can fix this. We can do a, a small stone wall. We're just gonna it's 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 not gonna be two sets of Oh my gosh, clutch, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we just have two windows instead of four. Honestly, that probably looks a little bit better if we're being real. I'm gonna pick up a bunch of wooden planks here and we're gonna do uh, wooden walls around the rest of it. So we've got, you know, nice 
solid looking stone on the front and then for you know economic purposes we're, we're gonna i mean I, I think we just do windows on every single one right maybe not the one in the middle we'll do a solid one and then a window here but yeah we're just gonna keep the wood windows all throughout give us nice views of nature there it is oh needed a, a couple more planks there and then we're gonna be able to finish this off finish this off just like so Beautiful. Okay. The bones are good, baby. If the bones are good. Look at this. This is fantastic. Okay. So I'm thinking, I mean, do we want to carve things off for like bedrooms and stuff? I, I kind of like the idea. Like I like it when a cabin is, is open and you've got the bed in the corner. You've got a little kitchenette. You've got a little fireplace. I don't know if we have all these things. I know we have a bed at least, but uh, I like it when it's very small and cozy. So I say we really kind of focus on getting the roof up. I don't think I want to build a second story. I think technically if we wanted to, we could do stairs. We could do a second store. I mean, we could do like a loft. It's honestly not really big enough. We didn't we didn't build the foundation big enough, and I'm not even sure I would want that again. The point is to be out here and not have to do too much, not have to heat this thing too much, not have to worry about it too much. Let's keep it small and cozy. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Taking a look at the roof options, this is where we could really mess things up. We're probably ooh, do we want to oast? Oh, I feel like we've got to go with the stone roof, right? We don't really have a whole lot of stone left unfortunately and all the stone that's on the ground kind of looks like the stone that was already on the ground so we can't even pick up a lot of these okay we're gonna have to get some more stone that's a one-shot headshot that's a one-shot headshot let's go i'm trying to get that sniper scope we're making good money too baby these these are gonna clean oh 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 chill 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 homie really just ran and laid down are you serious you got anybody else out here i hear a bunch of them go to flank go to flank these things are just not very smart, are they? Holy cow. Got a doe here. Males are worth more. There he is. Got him. Let's go, baby. All kinds of headshots. Oh, we missed him. This is hilarious. Oh, he stood up at the, the most inopportune moment possible. Are you serious? You gotta listen for him. Dude, we had a whole, a whole herd spawn here. There's one more. Oh, there he is. We missed, but that's honestly best case scenario because that means we could still get the one shot. Got him. Let's go. We've got so much meat. We I, we came out here for rocks and we're out here shoot. I mean, I, I don't want to shoot a deer and then just leave him there. So I guess we're just going to have to drop all of our fur and antlers and meat here. We're going to take this back to town when we can. Look at that nice little... <laughs> oh, that is... Kind of disgusting. Okay, let's actually go. I mean, I'm going to get headshots where we can, but we're going to hunt for some rocks and let's try to finish this house before nightfall. Okay, plenty of stone to go around, but now this is where things get a little bit tricky. I'm just not exactly sure where we would want to put each of these. Build I feel like building roofs is, is kind of the hardest part. And I, I'm worried this is where things are going to go off the rails. Oh, wow, we can get skylights but how would we connect this i would love some some sky well that's kind of like a roof if you had an upstairs section though I, I mean i would love that but we've also got these guys which this part's too wide so i i think i think these would work i'm gonna try putting that there i'm gonna put this one here don't have enough materials probably need more wood we need four stone and four wood plank i mean yeah that's that's cool. I, I I like it. I like I like the stone. So we're gonna need to make some more wood planks. Good thing we've got plenty of uh, of these things to go around. It kind of looks. I, I don't know. I, I I don't know if I would have rather gone with the wood roof. It kind of looks like a little bit fairy tale-y, but I, I guess that's kind of cool. We are living our own personal fairy tale, right? So we're gonna go with another stone roof. Let's just try to get a roof over our head here. It is starting to get a little bit late, which is somewhat concerning. But if we put this here. Got to be careful. Don't move after you click the button, Trev. Put that there. I don't know what we're going to put over this part, but we're we're starting to come together here. Do we have... Oh, we could put... Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, you, we could do... You can't turn them upside down. I don't know how we're going to fill this space. <laughs> oh, boy. We might have some, some open air features here. How are you supposed to fill that? I mean, it, it looks nice for sure. Oh, we've got big stone triangles. Okay, here we go. Just like so. 
Got that. Beautiful. How does this look from the outside? Is it getting dark already? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. We've, we've got a bit of a two-tone thing going on. Can we do wood on this side for that? I would really like... Oh, we've got the big, the big piece. We need more planks. I think we're going to need six. One, two, three, four, and five, six. Then we're going to be able to come back here. We're going to grab the big wooden triangle. And we're going to want to put this up like so. And all of a sudden, it's nighttime, and we aren't going to be able to see anything we're doing. So it's probably not the best idea to continue here. But, I mean, we might be able to finish it. We could do a little, a little small roof here and then do the smaller triangles just to kind of switch up our materials a bit. Oh, we can do borders. Stone roof borders. That looks nice. Okay, we need we need more wooden planks. We're actually cruising through most of these. Okay, there's, I mean, the attention to detail is is fairly impressive. Get rid of this log. We don't need that. We need more planks. But you can see how these borders come in. If we go back, we're going to be able to throw some more of these borders on the front and the lake facing side. I don't know what we're going to do for this piece over here. I don't see... Let me... I'm going to grab some more wood because it needs wood just to be able to see what we're doing. I like that we have a little patio here, but I don't see what we're supposed to use to cover this. Because if we do something like this, I mean, it just looks ridiculous. Like that's that's not gonna match up. None none of these none of these are gonna look good. There needs to be I, I mean a little intersection. I'm nervous to place it. If we do an intersection with that, I don't think that would work either. Oh, does this this work? Do we have a, a stone roof corner? We need six stones and six planks. We have three stones. We have enough planks. We need some more stones. Shoot, it's nighttime. We got to go. We got to find this. I, I think we might be able to finish it with our stone roof. Or can we do, for some reason, there's no wood roof corner. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we're, we're just going to have all, all stone roof. That's just what we're going to have to work with. I mean, it's a, a pretty little thing, man. It, it's, it's ours. I'm glad we took the time to actually make it fairly nice. Let's see if this worked out. I... I I'm a little bit nervous about this because when I look up, I can't see where it goes. So I'm just, I'm shooting my shot. We're going to hope this looks good. Ah, it actually looks pretty good. And we could put a wooden piece up on top of that. I'm going to do the wooden triangle. So we need another plank and the wooden triangle is going to tie in some more of the wood there. Beautiful. Look at that. We also need a door. I'm going to do the round door. It's going to take five planks. One, two, three three and give me all but one of those planks thank you and then we're going to be able to do this cool rounded door we're going to throw this guy in here which way do we want it to go maybe like this nice look at that even got it right with the opening i was nervous about that but we're good to go welcome home baby now it's going to be time to furnish it i'm going to see you guys tomorrow we're going to take uh, all of this it's going to be time to go sell we're going to try to hopefully find some more that we can take down and, and earn the sniper scope and i'll see you guys there we need two more headshots so i'm sorry bambi but that's one and we're looking for one more out here got a nice fat stack of items that we're going to be able to sell and then we also oh a fox are we going to be able to get a headshot on this guy He's tiny. We got him. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Sniper 3. We unlocked the sniper scope. We're not going to be able to pick up anything from him, but let's go sell this stuff. Going to buy some furniture, get a sniper scope. Life is going to be good. So if we go in here, it's kind of nice because I, I don't think this place ever uh, closes. We're going to sell all of our antlers, sell all of our deer fur, sell all of our raw meat. We're going to do some more hunting to make some more food later. Holy cow. All right, we've got $4,000. Let's let's look. Now, the good thing is, is we don't have much space, but we do have some space. So we need to think about what we want. For sure, want a bed. There's only one bed option, so we're buying a bed. Definitely a, a couple bedside tables. We're also going to go with the wardrobe. Now, I, I do kind of feel like we're starting to get a little bit crazy like I, I i don't know how much space we're really going to be able to have gonna go with a bathtub a toilet and a sink along with a towel toilet paper trash can toothbrush <laughs> Dude, this is kind of insane and, and maybe a rug for in front of the bathtub without a doubt want the cooking range some tools i hear somebody next to us it's a fox right there shoot i'm gonna buy a flashlight we've needed that for a really long time there's a 
a watering can. We're going to need that for our plants. Paintbrush. We could change the color of things. That's interesting. Definitely going to buy some, some plants. I'm going to go... We'll go with two of these. And then we already have the lettuce. So I'm going to go carrot, cucumber, and the potato. And then maybe one more of each. And maybe actually two more of each. So we're going to do rows of three. Definitely going to want some, uh, some a ceiling lamp with fan. A ceiling lamp. And at least four wall lamps and maybe two floor lamps. I don't even know if we're going to use all of this, but at least we have it. I mean, we could go with a kitchen sink and then I'm going to do two cabinets, one on each side, and then we could go with a fridge and little things to put on the cabinets. Holy cow, this is getting really, really expensive. I think that actually covers everything though. We're, we're good to go. Maybe a mirror. We don't have a mirror yet. And then if we have the space, I mean some... Uh... Definitely this rug. Should we go with the sofa? Should we go with the, maybe a bookcase with some books and a stack of books? And I, I think that's that, that we're not going to be able to do much more than that. It's a pretty small house. The good news is once we get this sniper scope, we're going to be able to feed our family for generations to come. We're going to have so much meat, so much hide to sell. We're going to be the, the richest farmer there ever was. So let's um let's get this thing turned around and we're going to go get that unlocked. Uh, we actually might not have enough money to unlock that. That's unfortunate. I, we, we might want to save up some money. Ooh, mister. Got her. We're just going to hit some rocks until we have... I mean, I, I don't even know how much a sniper scope would cost. I'm worried it's going to be really, really expensive. So I'll be upset if we drive all the way over there and then we can't afford it. So, I, I mean, we got to err on the side of caution, right? This is kind of a bad situation, but we're blessed. Too blessed to be stressed. The fact that we're actually going to have lights in our house going forward is is nice, man. We didn't have lights for three or four months, maybe a little bit more than that after the hurricane. So I, I know the vibe, but last few nights, lightless. Now we're actually going to be able to stay up and enjoy ourselves. I wish there was a fireplace option. That is kind of missing. To be honest, I feel like we don't even really need the sniper scope. I feel like we, you know, now that we've learned that headshots are single shot kills, we've gotten along pretty well with it, but I'm just kind of curious to see it. So we'll do our best. Okay. Last little set here. I think, I mean, we're going to be just above $2,600. I would hope a sniper scope doesn't cost that much when the sniper itself is only six, but we'll find out soon enough. Here's our little fire friend up at the top of the hill. We're going to get out, climb this beast, and let's go get ourselves our victory scope. I feel like it's a little rude that he doesn't have a, a path up to his place and he just makes you scale the mountain, but I guess that's how it is out here in the outdoors. If it's too difficult for you, then I guess you just weren't cut from that same cloth, huh? We do have this flashlight now, so we could throw this maybe on, on three. Ah, oh, look at this guy. This is nice. Feels a little bit better that we're going to have this in case it gets dark outside. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point, but you never really know. Keep in mind, Trev, he's going to be around this corner. He kind of freaks me out every time we see him. So our scope... There's a Sniper 3 plaque for 25 bucks, but I want our... Uh, is it others? No. Oh my god, dude. Don't... Don't... Don't tell me. Does it go to our inventory? Where does it go? F to customize? Oh, you can... You could just put the scope on it. Okay. Well, at least we came over to, to see Homeboy. Wow, look at this. That is nice. So we've got that, and then we also have the um, the iron sights, which honestly are worse than the the stock okay we're gonna keep the scope on there beautiful probably could have bought some of our plaques but i'm not worried about it i want to go finish decorating our house let's get back to the cabin this is actually kind of cool the fact that you can get camos via headshots makes me feel like we're playing cod back in the day i hear somebody Woo! look at that accuracy and you know what the first one with the scope you're also the first one I'm going to be cooking on my new range. Home sweet home, baby. Always feels good to go out, get a bunch of work done, and get home before the sun goes down. Got a whole pile of furniture that we're going to have to put around this house. And look at that. I mean, that is pretty cool, dude. The fact that we built this with our own two hands started from nothing. Wish we could have like a little carport or something. You can't build any garages, but we'll just we'll pull the truck around. Oh, I just... I drove over our building materials. It's fine. If we get out somehow, we are superhuman strength. Ooh. Oh, I don't think we can. Oh, no. 
Get it out of here. Thank you. When it's not stuck on something, you can like... Oh, it's not letting me do it right now. In the past, we've pushed the truck really hard, so just pretend like we could. All right, anyway, if we go in here, it's time to furnish this bad boy. Not a whole lot of room to be able to work with, but we're going to try to do our best. Now, where does the furniture go? Why is it not in our inventory? Is it in the inventory of the truck? We bought all that stuff. Where did it go? I'm trying to think. When we bought our bed, I thought it went straight to our inventory. There's nothing in here. Bro, what? I spent like 10 G's. It wasn't that much. Is it back at the store? I'm an idiot. It's it's in the it's in the hammer. I, I couldn't see it because it wasn't in our thing anymore. Let's take this out, put the hammer here. I'm pretty sure if we go to hammer and then we go to furniture, that's where it is. Okay. So where do we want to put the, the bed? I'm thinking the bed in this corner for a nice view of the lake. So we're we're gonna start with the bed here. Get her set up against this wall. I'm gonna try to get it so nothing's phasing through anything. Something just like that. Beautiful. So we've got the bed. We're going to put our two bedside tables. One there. And one on this other side. And then we're going to put our fan and ceiling lamp above it. Although we don't have a flat roof, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. But we're just... We're... We're going for it. Interact with it. Look at that, baby. We've got light. I'm not sure how, because we don't have electricity, but we have light. It's magical. Gonna shut the door here so no boogeyman can get in, although we've got no frames or anything on the... Dude, this is, this is pretty sick. I don't really love how many windows there are, though. Just looking... Oh, God. I, I should have thought about this. I should have just done, like, a dungeon with no windows or anything, but it's gonna be fine. So this is probably gonna be our bathroom over here. I feel like the tub is gonna be a bit of an issue. Um... Maybe a tub against against this. We could put the tub like that, which means the toilet is probably going to go next to it. I mean, this it's a it's a log cabin, guys. It it can't it can't be too too fancy. I wanted to center the toilet with the window, but I feel like it doesn't make sense. So we'll put the toilet there. We've got uh, the sink. Hopefully, will fit on this wall, which it does. Nice. That's exciting. So we could put the sink right here, and then we could put the toothbrush holder right there little rug in front of the sink right like so and then we also have our toilet paper which we can put on this side of the toilet kind of faces into the wall a little bit but that's fine and then we've got our towel for next to the sink in between the sink and the tub kind of phases in the wall but it's fine i mean honestly pretty good so far that mirror i'm not sure how the mirror works can we hang this on the wall? Oh, it's like a it's like a, a sit on a table mirror. Okay, that's not what I I, I thought it was gonna be a wall mirror. We could like hang it above the sink, but I guess not. Let's get some more light up in here. I'm gonna throw a light on this wall. I can't see anything over here. Maybe a, a ceiling light right there. Beautiful. Get a light in between these windows. Dude, this is looking nice. Maybe a um I mean this is gonna be our kitchen here. So let's place the kitchen first. Sink right in the... Oh, that's a, a interesting looking sink. We got a sink right in the middle and then we're going to line these up next to it. Got our little house on the prairie happening here. We got a fridge. We could put this here. Not going to block the window. Do we have anything for the other side of the oven? That's right, the range. This is actually working out pretty well. It's nice and organized. I love it. So now we could put some of our items on here. Going to put the scale there. Going to hang the kitchen tools over on this end. We've got some knives next to the stove. Probably a teapot on the stove, right? Kitchen towel hanging off right there. How about a big old rug underneath the bed? Make it feel a little homier. Try to get this thing centered. Dude, this is actually looking kind of... Like, I, I, we just kind of bought random stuff at random, but it, it's, it's working out. I'm going to put a little lamp over here in the corner. And the fact that I, I don't think you can move things after you place them makes me nervous, but we're actually doing a, a decent job. Cutting board here in the kitchen. Beautiful work. We got a toaster, which doesn't really fit. We could put it right like that. And then a bookcase. I mean, a bookcase could go underneath this. Where's the front of this? I'm assuming this is the front. Please, please be the front. I can't tell if it's the front, but it's fine. So we could have a bookcase with some books. Which way is the front on the books? I think we want to have them this way. And then we could put the stacked books like so. Oh, this is looking so good, dude. The attention to detail is great. I'm going to put a, a light in between here. Can we put a light on the outside? Shoot, it's dark out there. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. I want to put a light on the outside of the door, kind of like a front light, and then maybe a, a floor light over in this corner. 
Turn that guy on. Okay. Welcome to our nice little home. I'm, I'm not going to go to sleep. We can't go to sleep yet. The mirror. I mean, I don't really know what to do with this, dude. We don't have anything that this will actually sit on. Maybe on top of the fridge. That's going to look silly. Oh, well. We bought it. It's, it's, it's there. It's too late now. Oh, plants, plants, plants. We like plants. I'm going to do a, maybe a plant on each thing. Maybe a plant on the toilet. Let's, let's keep it nice and symmetrical. If we had more options, I would, I would spruce it up more, but honestly, this looks pretty good. Oh, we've got a wardrobe. No, Trev. Oh no. Okay. We, we aren't going to have anywhere to store our clothes. We've also, we bought a trash can. I don't remember buying a trash can, but we could put a trash can next to the fridge. Oh, you can put stuff in the fridge. I'm going to put our meat in the fridge here. You can use the fridge as storage. That's genius. Obviously, it makes a lot of sense. I'm going to I'm gonna put all of our stuff in the fridge. I want to try cooking meat. If we take the meat out, we go here. Cook, cook the meat. Oh, we could cook two at a time. Okay, let me take the second piece of meat. Going to put two meats in there. Let's cook them. Do they turn into one meat? Oh, oh, they just, they end up up top. Now it's raw meat, we could, or, or cooked meat, sorry. We could put this in here. Let me see, what does this do for us? Takes us up over halfway. So bread is like a quarter of the way. The beef stew that we have bought from the store for 20 bucks, the canned beef takes us one third of the way. And that takes us close to, I, I mean, over half. So that's pretty good. It is super dark out there. Can we please go to sleep yet? Let's go. Brand new day ahead of us here. Hopefully the storms have passed. It is really concerning when you look outside and it's just pitch black. Okay, I'm going to wait here for a minute. I'm just going to look at this corner. I, I, I don't like the idea of somebody being out there and seeing in with the lights. But if it's light inside, you can't see out. I hate that feeling. We need some blinds on the windows. This is... God, get me, get me in the tub, dude. Ah, oh my God, I hate the feeling. Okay, I, I got to stop. Okay, it's, it's kind of daylight now. Honestly, the lighting in this game, even though I feel like it's kind of dark sometimes, it's pretty good. Look at how when you're inside, it looks pitch black outside. But as you step up to the window, your eyes get used to the darkness. So it's really not that dark out here. We just do that for a random indie game. That is actually really well done. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm going to close this. And then I my last one, if we were able to do it, I was going to put right here. Beautiful. So that's going to be our little beacon of hope in the night. That signifies our home. I love it, dude. This thing turned out super, super sick. The last thing I think we want to do is to try to plant stuff. If we use our hammer... Oh, you, you build a box. You don't put it in the ground. So that was a, a garden of our, our um, cabbage. And then we could do carrots next to that. I guess we'll leave a... Sp I don't know if we're going to have to walk. We'll leave a space just in case we have to walk. So we've got cabbage, carrots, cukes, and taters. And it's raining, so it's kind of doing some of the work for us. But now if we take our watering can... I'm going to put this on four because I don't think we're going to be fishing anymore. Hunting is way more efficient. We can... Ah, uh, so you do still have to water them. It's going to make the soil nice and moist. Got to love it when she's got moist soil. And uh, now we're going to have some plants growing, which, I mean, it's nice. I honestly wish we would have started this a long time ago because I think the best thing that we can do is just get meat and cook it. There, there's nothing that's going to end up beating that. So, I mean, I, I, think, I think that's a wrap. I think we've done pretty much all we can do in this game. Obviously, there are um, one, two... Three, four, three, three, one, two, three. Good, good job, Counting Trev. Three other locations that we could build houses on. And I mean, you could build a monstrosity of a mansion. I don't really have any desire to. I don't think there's anything left to do. You know, I, I think we've outfitted this place really nice. And it ended up being about the perfect size for a little cabin up here in Alaska. So, hope you guys enjoy. I still can't get over that I heard something. I don't like it when it's dark inside or dark outside and light inside. Really don't like it. There you guys have it. That, my friends, is Mountain Survivor Simulation Mountain Man Evergreen. I forget the name of the game, but I had a great time playing it. So thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next one. More ridiculous simulation games coming very soon. Peace out.